Welcome to you Radical Underdogs. Uh, we are going to try and fix this car. I put it back together again and you'd have seen on a previous video that I've got poor compression on cylinder number three. Well, this one, yeah, which is three, labelled three, not two, it is three. Uh, I've got poor compression on that. So I've got sort of 180, 190 and all the other cylinders and only 110 on this one. Um, 110 to 130 depending on how I test it. This has been off and on the entire time. I've tried to compress the lifters overnight for 24 hours. That hasn't worked. I've run the car up to temperature. I've revved it in the driveway. Late at night annoying all the neighbours. None of that has worked. Um, so today we're going to take this off, take the cams off and take the lifters out, swap them to another cylinder and then see if that problem follows to the other cylinder and then I really know for sure whether or not I've got to take the head off again, which I'd rather not do, but it looks like we might have to. That has been record time. I've taken this, ca this cam cover on and off so many times now. That at least I'm getting practiced in it, but I've tried to keep the timing. So rather than reset the timing, I've tried to keep the marks in place. The only thing I've noticed actually on this top cam cover, the arrows are all pointing this way, this way, this way, and that one's pointing the other way. Likewise with these, they're all pointing that way. Is that a problem? I don't know. Okay, some nerve-wracking minutes later, I've never taken the camshaft off before. Camshaft has come off, I've taken the lifters off. This is the bad cylinder, this is the good cylinder. Can't see any noticeable difference in what's beneath them and the, the, um, the valve stems and stuff. So, all looks kind of the same to me. Um, the lifters that have come off, they all look, the safe is the bad one. This is, the, this is this is the uh, this is the good one, um, and I've seen people online say you can compress these sort of with your hand. Ugh. Certainly no compression that I can I can discern, and either of the good ones or the bad ones. I'm assuming they're good, so maybe they need to be rebuilt. All of them maybe need to be rebuilt, but. That can't be the cause of the problem because this one is a good sign. Anyway, um, I'm going to swap them over and then see if that problem moves from here to here. Ah, we'll find out. And it goes without saying that I'm going to be doing the same on the exhaust side, but um, I won't film now, I'll just time lapse that. Okay, I went to have a look at my old video, which is on YouTube by the way, and this was facing the correct way around when it came off. So when it came back from being rebuilt, it was facing the wrong way around. Just had a chat with a few people. I don't think, because I've caught it very early, I don't think it will cause any lasting damage. Um, I'm going to yeah, swap that around. I've swapped all the lifters around. So we're going to go and see now whether or not the compression issue follows the um, lifters or whether it stays in cylinder number three in which case I've got probably more issues to, to solve if, if it stays in cylinder number three. All right let's uh, let's get on with the test.
here is the moment of truth. So I'm going to just test it cold. Um, I mean, I'm, all, my, all I'm looking for is a substantial difference between pistons. So I'm not looking for a very accurate figure here. Cam covers this on to stop oil going everywhere. Okay. Hmm, okay. I mean, it is cold. So that was good before, and it's now at 160. Have I messed up? Have I messed up? Have I messed up? What's going on here then? I'm going to spin it over by hand. Start writing this stuff down. <sighs> right, what the hell is going on with this engine? 170. That is zero. And zero. Okay, so I've messed something up. Made it even worse. I didn't even change anything about that last cylinder. Now it's developing no compression, so I must the timing must have but I tech I just checked it. Okay, I'll take all the covers off. Check the timing. Very poor compression test just now, having just reassembled the cams, put them back in. I have 190, 170, 0, 0, which isn't good. Double check the timing. I took the lower timing cover off. There you go. It is bang on top dead centre there. I'm pretty sure. This is right here. Spun it over several times by hand. Obviously it was getting compression on two cylinders. I might start it up to see if I can just get some oil pressure in it. Maybe that will, maybe it is the lifters. Maybe all this problem is all the lifters. Okay, I've connected everything up. So at least I'm getting some, um, not gonna have a massive exhaust intake leak. It's um, obviously not all tightened up or anything but it's all connected up and it should fire up. Timing belt is clear, so it's not gonna tangle any of the wires up, I don't think. Just to get some oil pressure in it, just to maybe get those lifters working. Now is your chance to scream no, and type furiously in the comments. I don't think I'm about to destroy this engine. Obviously, I wouldn't be doing it otherwise. Um, everything's connected. I think I do this. I think this is the right thing to do. Oof, okay. Okay, car fired up, sounded normal. The engine didn't explode. Maybe the lifters now develop a bit more compression. We'll do the compression test once again. Okay, I think we can eliminate the lifters as the problem with this engine. Yeah, the compression has remained poor on number three. Uh, so we have 190 on cylinder number one, which is pretty good. We have 165 on number two, which is not good and probably be a bit of a concern even if the next one, number three, wasn't 110. And then the number one, the final one, number four, is 185 so number one and number four are all right two and three well 65 i'll probably just leave that but 110 it's by far too low <sighs> well i guess the cylinder head's gonna have to come off again okay well there you go okay leak down test um ignore the 20 percent. i think it's <laughs> i think it's more than that but air is quite clearly coming out of here and that is exhaust side because 
the exhaust valves are open on cylinder number one and therefore let's do the same thing with a when with the intake open not happening so it's an exhaust side that shouldn't be the exhaust valve shouldn't be open now on the, on this cylinder okay so I've taken some advice uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this car back together so at least it runs and drives it can get onto the trailer um, I think this is as far as I'm going to take it I'm going to take it to a professional the same guy who rebuilt the uh, the head so he'll he'll have a look um, because I've moved the lifters from the problem cylinder to another cylinder and the issue has remained in that problem cylinder I've done a wet and dry compression test that hasn't produced anything of interest hopefully it can get running by the track day which is in a couple of weeks time but I'm gonna have to get it on the trailer I'm working obviously so I'm gonna have to get it on the trailer somehow get it over to them they fix it and then oh, the whole thing anyway okay everything's back together again on the car there are a few things that are loose like these hose clamps and stuff but it doesn't really matter um, the whole thing is going to have to come off anyway potentially the whole head's going to have to come off there is an exhaust side leak that is the diagnosis we've come up with today could still be lifter related it's pretty unlikely because we've moved the lifters and the problem hasn't moved with the lifters that's it for this time unfortunately i was going to have to go somewhere professional to to try and get this fixed next time hopefully you'll see this running and driving big well i hope so because we're actually out pre-season testing at snetterton in a couple of weeks time so i do hope we get this fixed pretty soon anyway thanks for watching